Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share yet another update on the NVIDIA Tegra Note 7. Now, I just finished posting my full digitally digested review of this tablet, and in my opinion, it is the best 7-inch tablet on the market right now for the money. At $200, you'll be hard-pressed to find anything that approaches its actual uh, prowess in terms of processor, that Tegra 4 quad-core chip simply best in class, especially if you're interested in things like gaming. And then if you actually appreciate having the stylus option that's included uh, with NVIDIA's very own direct stylus software, then you're going to be really pleased with the entire package. Uh, Front-facing speakers offer some of the best audio you're going to hear uh, from any uh, tablet on the market, let alone a sub 10 inch device like this. It's been running Jelly Bean version 4.22, and in my full review, I actually mentioned that NVIDIA had promised an update, and that's what today's video is about. Uh, luckily, that update uh, was actually released today. By today, uh, it is now a day after, at least here in the States, from NVIDIA's announcement yesterday, uh, but Nonetheless, it is still here, and that is 4.3. I haven't begun downloading it, uh, but I wanted to go over some features and also show Wi-Fi performance for those of you curious about how well uh, the single band, the 2.4 gigahertz range, um, you know, BG and N connectivity in this case, N, really performs at a far distance downloading a pretty hefty file because the update's roughly 400 megabytes. So let's go ahead and, well, I'll just open up the web browser. In terms of features, I'm going to go over those, but let's do that while I'm actually downloading the update. Uh, and again, I can't stress enough that uh, when comparing this to something like the Nexus 7, this is only the first update, a Nexus device. You're getting uh, all of your updates regularly, clearly, from Google, but here you're still getting as close to that Nexus experience as possible. And the fact that this update has come so quickly uh, it really does speak to the breadth of this really replicating that Nexus environment. So let's go ahead and download uh, the 4.3 update. And you can see it's a 389 megabyte file. And uh, yeah, a little bit before 7 o'clock in the morning Eastern, that's how late this ended up coming up. So I'm not sure why NVIDIA uh, basically came out and said, yeah, we're pushing out the update and then that lagged by about a day because really it was very scattered even internationally in terms of the update pushing uh, in line with when they announced it. But either way, I'm just happy to see the software's following through. Now, in terms of speed, you can see right there, uh, we're already at 60 megabytes. So things are moving pretty fast, uh, certainly above and beyond what anyone would need in a computing, a mobile computing form factor like this. Uh, let's jump back to the actual web browser and look at some of those specifications and this is directly from NVIDIA's own blog uh, covering uh, the note and you can see they want to point out all the enhancements I mean they're basically just saying this is the first significant software update and that's because it is and I had predicted they would probably do something with the actual note uh, they did but let's go over exactly what we're getting here so uh, they've enhanced the actual stylus experience so uh, fluidity and responsiveness, everything uh, is supposed to be improved. Uh, they've also, more importantly, now added support for left-handed users. I know one of you commented about the lack of left-hand support. NVIDIA recognized that and rectified it. So it'll be interesting to see how well they've accommodated lefties. Uh, I mentioned the direct stylus uh, being further revamped beyond even just that. And you now have a help button under the actual device settings menu a stylus removal and insert notification on the notification bar uh, and given users and they've given users the ability to capture the notification bar uh, with full screen capture uh, beyond that the camera also now gets some pretty interesting enhancements they've taken their uh, HDR mode and made it always on so this is a, a very cool feature from a photographic perspective how well it'll actually uh, work is another story altogether but of course I will be updating all of you on how that affects the camera performance and whether or not it really is a legitimate true enhancement. Uh, but it's another key to just again respecting NVIDIA pushing out software that isn't just for the sake of updating. Also, uh, they've improved image stabilization, something that I rarely hear coming out of uh, a firmware push uh, or an update on an Android device. So that's these are really cool things. It just shows that we're dealing with a company with a completely different approach. Hopefully all of these things actually do uh, come through in performance. Uh, and they're also talking about 
uh, the utilization of the camera with the Tegra 4. I mean, everything here is about Tegra 4 enhancement. That really is the truth of the matter when it comes to this device. We're already 140 megs in. Uh, even though the video is five minutes in, I'm not sure exactly where I started the download, but things are moving relatively quickly, and I think that's uh, evident from the download speed. Again, nowhere near my router. Uh, it is AC capable. Of course, the Tegra Note 7 is not. Uh, beyond that, uh, the other essential thing that I think will be important for many users is that final note that beyond bug fixes, they've uh, added the ability to transfer app and data files uh, from internal storage to your micro SD card, your external storage that uh, I know so many of you are leaning on. In fact, that's one of the biggest selling points of this Nexus-esque powerhouse is that it gives you better processor performance and throws in all of those things that uh, the Nexus experience are lacking. So arguably, if software and screen resolution and an extra gig of RAM, NFC, and uh, you know, QI, uh, the Qi wireless charging, are the only other uh, enhancements, I think anyone who's really interested in a future-proof device rather than just a very well-rounded, consumer-oriented uh, consumption device uh, is going to be prone to go for this because even the software argument, I won't say is becoming null, but... NVIDIA is extraordinarily aggressive. They're proving this is only their second device to the uh, Shield that they launched uh, this past year. I say this past because we're just about in 2014 now. And this being the second, both devices they've been aggressive on. And they know that that is something that uh, not only, you know, people who are very uh, intrigued by these tablets or drawn to tablets in general, uh, most of my viewers uh, I'll be speaking to directly on this, uh, but even the average consumer likes to see that they actually care about the consumer. And this is the only way a manufacturer legitimately can prove that, is by actually pushing out updates and demonstrating that they're not just handing you a piece of hardware that in a year is going to be disposable. Now, I can't forecast how long NVIDIA is going to carry this. It'll all come down to the success and what their entire uh, business plan is for this uh, device hardware business that has started to grow over the course of 2013. But either way, uh, right now we are benefiting from this beta phase of their you know, first round of putting out consumer electronic devices. Uh, because right now, nothing matches this tablet. And already, if this is just the first update, and if you know the track record of how they updated the Shield and how the first updates were mild-mannered and then they just transformed the device, that's where already I know that they wouldn't be telling us the stylus uh, experience improved unless it legitimately did. Uh, the left-hand thing, that's a no-brainer. It really should have been there out of the box. The camera enhancements are certainly nice things. A little bit more filler than cl uh, clearly the actual direct stylus uh, functionality, as well as building it into the settings. Uh, there's actually going to be in the settings tab now a direct stylus, um, you know, uh, access point to get to options and things of that nature. I'll be interested to see what we can actually do with that. So they've just realized that, again, the, the actual note element of this tablet is critical, and overall they've got a winner here, and it just makes sense to continue to develop it. And right now it's still sold out. Newegg is the only vendor carrying the Tegra Note uh, 7 made by EVGA here in the States. Of course, it's under all different brand names, uh, Advent, uh, Zolo, uh, so many different, uh, manufactured by like half a dozen different companies worldwide, mostly in China. Uh, which makes sense, but uh, this is NVIDIA's baby, and that's why the performance is there. I mean, NVIDIA is a company known for their performance in the graphics department. When it comes to their mobile processing, uh, you know, arena, they, or I should say arm, no less, you know, level of competency there. I mean, they really, it, it's been a shining spot for them. This is something that AMD, uh, even under the ATI label, or, or excuse me, ATI under the AMD label, I meant, uh, never took on, really, and NVIDIA rolled the dice, got into the mobile sector, and here we see them really taking it on all on their own at this point, because uh, as many of you know, they were in the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 2013, Google and Asus went with Qualcomm uh, for a variety of different reasons, uh, but one of the most clear ones is NVIDIA's partnership with Microsoft in the Surface line of tablets. Of course, not the Surface Pro, uh, but the actual uh, tablet rather than full OS, the Windows 8.1 RT tablets, 
so that's the original Surface RT and the current Surface 2. Those are tablets that are you know, clearly directly competing with uh, NVIDIA uh, and, or excuse me, with Google. And that's where, I don't know if that's what undid the relationship. Either way, they parted ways. And here is NVIDIA making their own impression on the tablet industry because they know that the heart of the tablet, in this case the Tegra 4, really is one of the most relevant uh, areas. And then they do have extensive expertise in the area of software development from all the games that have THD enhancements and just building architecture and developing themselves. I mean, the Shield is a creation you know, that I could only give them credit for because no one else has attempted uh, to do anything like that. So this is going to start to uh, go through the actual restart. We're already at almost 11 minutes. Uh, in terms of how long this is going to actually take, I couldn't begin to give you any sort of guesstimate, but uh, in all likelihood, it could be a 5 or 10 minute process. I mean, 400, 389 megabytes was definitely a sizable update. Uh, it's not a small one. You know, a lot of these updates we get these days are... I mean, not when we move usually to a whole new version of Android, but the bug fix patches clearly often much smaller uh, containers than what you're looking at here. And that's because there are significant enhancements being made. And that's really a big selling point. I mean, after all, that's why most people are after the Nexus experience. So NVIDIA, again, I'll reiterate it, trying to ensure that you're going to get that Nexus environment, even if Google isn't putting their name on it. And that's a good thing. Uh, quality control, it's been a big issue. You can see a bit of a fingerprint magnet right there. Uh, and it does boot up, by the way, in portrait, which is interesting because uh, the design does lend itself to portrait use. That's something I also want to point out uh, for those of you interested in e-reading. You can do it on here. It doesn't have that high-resolution screen that, that the Nexus 7 2013 has. Uh, no 1200p here. And that definitely is an advantage for that if you're looking for something for e-reading. But I don't think NVIDIA is trying to sell this as an e-reader. This is more just a matter of how things were programmed and uh, just not, I guess, shifting it into landscape. Could be just the stock image, frankly. Uh, and that's part of what NVIDIA's whole approach is here, to go stock. Uh, that's what they've been doing from day one with Google. And even though they're not in the same capacity uh, working together any longer, they still are a force uh, in Android, clear one. And that's why over the years, oddly enough, ever since the... Uh, Motorola Zoom and the first uh, few Android phones that NVIDIA got into with the Tegra brand chipset, we saw Wall Street really start to value the company. Not that I'm going to bore you guys with financials, but this is uh, relevant to how things changed as an iPad competitor, even though NVIDIA clearly their bread and butter is in the graphics business. So this became sort of uh, a blessing and also a downfall for them as a company. It's a great opportunity for growth, and they've done incredible things. I mean, the fact that they have, you know, the fastest processor other than the Snapdragon 800 that are essentially neck and neck, but this one does edge it out when it comes to graphics, that's amazing. This is a company that was not in this business, uh, you know, not too long ago, whereas Qualcomm's been in it forever and uh, arguably invented it to a certain degree. And here NVIDIA is not only making a name, but they've been killed on the street because of being viewed, as I mentioned, as an iPad competitor. I'll turn this into portrait since it's still uh, updating. And, you know, it's a good thing and a bad thing because it shows the amount of respect that NVIDIA has gotten, even though they aren't really a competitor of Apple. Uh, since they don't, fa these are, you're looking at their first tablet. I mean, how could you actually sell them as a competitor to Apple if all they're making our actual uh, processors, uh, mobile ones at that. Uh, but there we go, the update was pretty fast. And by the way, that's in part to do with the fact that we've got that Tegra 4. Uh, if you tried to do this on even my Moto X, uh, no way are you gonna see uh, that Snapdragon S4, which is really an underclocked S600, uh, take any update and chew it up that quickly. This was relatively fast. I think I said that we were beginning to boot you know, start the actual update process at about 10 minutes. So it took less than, or roughly four minutes, really fast. Uh, let me get this into landscape if it wants to. Or actually, it looks like it's locked in portrait, oddly enough. But, uh, you know, I'm going to be updating all of you, obviously. It is locked in portrait. I figured maybe things would change. No, their orientation is now kicking in. So that's on me. 
looks like orientation was working the entire time. Uh, but, of course, none of the boot sequence. Uh, there it is permanently in portrait, as I was discussing. But uh, now we've got orientation, no problems at all. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how well this works. I'll jump into settings just to show you the actual build. You can see right there we are now at 4.3. And uh, just to make sure there are no other bug fixes because this did take ha or should I should say had a day in lag in terms of actually making it to market as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video uh, literally almost waiting for this uh, with anticipation just to see what uh, we got in terms of overall performance so yeah just excited to finally uh, see this update hit this tablet and of course uh, I will be updating all of you on how well uh, these features end up coming into play. Are they actually tangible? Uh, I'm expecting that the direct stylus will be the biggest enhancement here above and beyond the camera. But of course, also for those lefties out there, this is huge. I mean, to be left out, certainly not right. And now you are included. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.